Welcome to the Great Loop Aboard the Perch. This is leg 41 of our Great Loop Adventure, and I'm Kim Russo with America's Great Loop Cruisers Association. Today's the big day. We're crossing into Canada, so we'll be going from Wellesley Island to Kingston, Ontario. And you might notice from that track that we are actually going in the wrong direction at first, and that's because we want to tour Singer Castle, which is on Dark Island, and that is to the northeast a bit from where we're starting out on Wellesley Island. So we set out pretty rainy day as you can see from the video and almost immediately we saw the grounds of Bolt Castle. What you're seeing in this picture there all the way to the left is the yacht house for Bolt Castle and that was actually on Wellesley Island. So a great way to tour the castle is to tie up on Wellesley Island, walk to the yacht house and take the shuttle across to the castle. You can also take your own boat out to Bolt Castle. There's plenty of dockage there but this being the 4th of July weekend and Canada Day weekend, we didn't want to risk not having enough room to park our boat. So uh, we did it from Wellesley Island and it was super easy. And that is Bolt Castle. Great stories behind that and we'll tell you more about that in our Great Loop Lifestyle video that will cover the Thousand Islands and we'll tour the Bolt Castle, show you lots of pictures and some of the history of that amazing house. Also saw a lighthouse pretty quick here on our way out, and we continue to the northwest towards the next castle, which in our case will be Singer Castle. But we did take a quick stop for some fuel. Only took on about 100 gallons, didn't really need fuel necessarily, but since it is typically less expensive in the U.S. than in Canada, we went ahead and topped off before heading into Canada later in the day. So, more beautiful cruising through the Thousand Islands is pretty much what's in store here. You can see the border coming into play there. That's that yellow line on Google Earth. And you can see we kind of wandered into Canada there. You don't have to worry about checking in until you actually touch ground in Canada. So, Singer Island, I'm sorry, Singer Castle on Dark Island is actually on the U.S. side of the border. That's what it looks like as you are approaching it. And while Bolt Castle is very fairy tale like Singer Castle is almost the polar opposite. It's got a little bit of an eerie feel to it. It's kind of medieval, um, lots of stone. It's even got some um, suits of armor, some swords, things like that. So after the tour, we headed back out and continued on our way to Kingston, Ontario, which is in Canada. So now we're cruising in Canadian waters. Again, you don't have to check in until you actually touch Canadian soil. So whether that's by dropping an anchor or by tying up to a dock, that's the time when you have to check in. You can freely cruise into Canadian waters uh, without checking in until you actually touch ground. So we're continuing through some pretty narrow stretches. I actually had a call for work and missed some of this beautiful scenery through here. I got to see it out the window but didn't get you a whole lot of video of it and I was not pleased about that. Um, but there was a lot of current and very narrow channels. You can see one of those channels here actually and how close you actually end up coming to the rocks to stay in the channel. So while I was downstairs on my call and kind of getting to see the scenery out the window, Michael had his hands full just keeping the boat in the center of the channel. If you do run aground here, it is unforgiving because it is mostly granite and other rock. Um, so we didn't get a lot of video for you in some of the prettiest places we've been through. So my apologies. Um, you can tell we're in Canada. We're starting to see the beautiful Canadian flag with the maple leaf in some of the towns along the shore. And as we get ready to get to Kingston and check in, the check-in process is extremely easy. Uh, at current time, you do need to download a, a app called Arrive Can and fill that out with your COVID information, um, your vaccination information, etc. And then when you arrive, you call the number for telephone reporting and you officially check in. That way, they'll ask you some brief questions. They'll want your passport numbers, the boat's registration number, and they'll ask you about the things you might have to declare, um, like alcohol, fruits, vegetables, etc. So we are pulling into Kingston. Kingston is actually the first capital of Canada, and we will be spending three nights here so that we have some time to explore everything there is to do here in Kingston. So our overall path, we had three voyages. That was the fuel stop, the stop at Dark, Dark Island for Singer Castle, and the riding into Kingston. Underway for just under six hours, we went a distance of just under 45 nautical miles, um, average 7.5 miles, um, 7.5 knots, 
and maxed out at about 10 for the day. So there again is our track that took us a little bit out of the way initially to go do some more exploring and then a beautiful cruise on the Canadian side of the Thousand Islands and the St. Lawrence River to Kingston. We'll be back soon with our Great Loop lifestyle about the Thousand Islands where we will show you the insides of those castles and a lot of what the things you can do and see in Clayton. So join us for that. Thank you for watching. We'll be back soon.